Hey there, this is k ray Knowledge for All Educational Videos and Tutorials. Uh, no tutorials today. In this video I want to talk a little bit about um, this guy here, Pirate Software, and his experience with Blizzard. He is a programmer as much as I know, who worked for Blizzard, as he says, for seven years, and uh, in short, it sucked, it wasn't worth it, and uh, I think this experience was is very very important to share and his opinion because it's real world it comes from a guy who has experience with companies as big as Blizzard and working for them so it's not some kind of story which I or someone who never worked for those companies talk about or thinks about or heard about it and stuff like that and uh, he gives uh, so many real world uh, sane reasons not to work for companies like that in terms of working conditions they were terrible uh, working hours uh, were terrible that means probably they were working too much uh, not only crunch time which is when you have to finish game so you have to do more work but uh, for uh, bigger companies nowadays crunch time is almost all the time so and that was not only reason his salary he was paid uh, almost 40 percent that's almost half uh, salary less than industry standard for his job so um, money working conditions working hours and so on and that's what uh, I want to emphasize and will do in future uh, with these concrete examples uh, I will leave this link to his uh, short in comments and video description but um, this guy has a YouTube channel also uh, recently someone asked me to recommend some YouTube channels and people who make tutorials or talk about game maker this guy is one of them but unfortunately his videos are not much about tutorials or uh, at least not classified and organized well so you cannot find them easily but they have found a couple of videos which i uh, watched not complete but watched uh, some part of those while well, he was uh, coding programming and it was in game maker so again it's very very uh, funny for people who think game maker cannot uh, publish a game or you cannot finish it you cannot make money this guy was working for blizzard then he quit and started his indie pirate software studio and then he published hardbound game with lots of positive feedback as much as i saw on steam so again one example for game maker but very uh, uh, more important and the reason which i made this video is this uh, his experience with a company as big as Blizzard and how uh, those companies, most of those companies just rely on you uh, working for them because you're fun of their games or uh, like them or grow up, on, uh, you grew up on, on those games as a kid so you will push more, work more for less money under uh, um, under normal conditions and stuff like that so I think this is a, a big big uh, and important message so that's it for this video no tutorial as I said but maybe more more important message which I think it's um, it's important for you uh, to especially beginners to uh, face and confront as soon as possible and not to make some kind of uh, illusions and dreams about someone uh, will be praising you or 
or giving you all the money or all the best conditions just because you know how to draw or make uh, game art program make games and stuff like that uh, that is uh, also very connected which uh, with the topics i was covering here about uh, youtube about uh, uh, adobe software and companies like that they all work under same principles as much as they can push you and uh, make you uh, work for them they will do that uh, they want you to work for them as cheap as possible and also to spend as much as possible when you buy their products it's simple as that so uh, that is also one of the reasons why uh, I try to share my knowledge as much as possible in uh, any skill I have or learn um, in uh, real world or uh, virtual uh, internet and so on. Uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the uh, next one. Bye for now.